what is up guys welcome back to the rant room where we talk about anime manga gaming and controversial topics in nerd and geek culture so today we are going to talk about the top 20 uh, uh, adult graphic novels and let me tell you something before i show you guys the list which is an embarrassment to america manga completely dominated <laughs> that list completely dominated that list which is an embarrassment because you would figure with all these DC movies coming out, DC TV shows, and Marvel pushing out non-stop TV shows. We've got She-Hulk coming out. They had Moon Knight. They have Miss Marvel. They had Thor that just came out recently. All of these are not enough to help amplify the sales of comic books. Which is a... Which is, it's just a shame. It's, it's embarrassing. But like I always say, manga had a set blueprint. And they believe that if it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. So they're sticking with what works. And of course, what manga does perfectly is they create something for everyone to enjoy. Whereas DC Comics, whereas Marvel Comics does, you guys can see for yourself. <laughs> okay, now I'm not saying Marvel and DC Comics are a complete failure. But the fact that we are, well, that they're losing consistently to manga says a lot and the sad part is that they're not willing to learn <sighs> i'm going to show you guys the list uh, before i do that please consider hitting the red subscribe button for more daily nerd and geek culture content let's get the channel to a thousand subs follow me on twitter that way you know whenever i post and you can follow me on instagram as well to continue the shenanigans let's continue so this is from icv2 um, it says June 2022 MPD book scan top 20 adult graphic novels anime matters <laughs> duh <laughs> plus a couple of exceptions anime continue to drive manga sales but there are two interesting exceptions Chainsaw Man which is getting an anime real soon by the way right and Deadpool Samurai what is Deadpool Samurai in case you guys are not aware I looked it up Deadpool Samurai one of the highest selling manga releases in Japan for a brief time during the series online and physical launches and now that the success is said to continue the series um, official English release in North America so Japan took a, <laughs> a Marvel property and made it excel which at this point i think anything they touch when it comes to entertainment like comics manga anime and stuff like that they are just better at it at this point they seem to just i don't know, d dominate in that area you feel me and um like i said the cause of that is because japan makes something for everyone literally go look at like the subsections and of genres of anime there is something for everyone to enjoy whereas marvel and dc continuously regurgitate the same things over and over again with the multiple universes and the multiple this and multiple that and bruh <laughs> how many times are you gonna um take away iron man you're on a live iron man you're on a live captain america bring him back you take away batman batman has ten thousand robins like bruh at some point, it just becomes played out. <laughs> Come on. Now, the best-selling title in June was Volume 11 of Chainsaw Man, the latest release in the series that has consistently topped the charts with each new volume despite not having an anime adaptation yet, like we discussed coming out real soon. The anime is supposed to premiere later this year, but no date has been announced yet. Volume 10 has also made the chart. The series started the year strong with seven volumes in the top 20 in January and February of this year and five in March. <laughs> the rest of the titles in the top 20 are all anime driven um, since Chainsaw Man Marvel's run early this year. Yes, by X Family has been the series with the most volumes in the top 20. The anime premiered in, in April, which is actually a pretty good show. I do recommend you guys go watch it. I enjoyed it. And I do think the backlash it got during the course of the year only helped with the popularity of the anime that's just my opinion <laughs> i've covered some of the backlash check out my library I, there's a couple maybe one or two of them you can check them out um jujutsu kaisen is another series that uh series that's seeing an anime boost the latest volume a june release is a third place on the chart with three other volumes further down 
the anime streams on Crunchyroll. And of course, we had the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero that did crazy numbers, made crazy amounts of money, both in Japan and, and over here in the West. And we have Volume 6 of Wotakai is the number 5 on the chart. This is a rare Juice. Jose, I hope I said that right, series that makes it into the top 20. Now let's look at the top 20 list at just a complete and utter embarrassment. Okay, top 20 adult graphic novels June 2022. This is from May 29, 2022 to July 2nd, 2022. First one we have Chainsaw Man Volume 11. Second, Spy X Family Volume 1. Third, Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 16. Four, Demon Slayer. Volume 1, 5, Water Kai, Water Koi, sorry. Uh, Lo Love is Hard for Otaku, Volume 6. Spy X Family, Volume 2. Jujutsu Kaisen, Volume 10. Oh, 0, sorry. Spy X Family, Volume 3. Spy X Family again. Spy X Family again. <laughs> Spy X Family again. Toilet Bound. A, sh a, a manga named Toilet Bound is on the list. What are we doing, America? <laughs> what is going on? Jujutsu Kaisen again, Chainsaw Man Volume 10, Death Notes, Short Stories, wow, I gotta check that one out. Demon Slayer again, Spy X Family, Deadpool Samurai Volume 2, My Hero Academia, not surprising. And lastly, Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 2. <laughs> like I said, a complete and utter freaking embarrassment at this point. But that's what you get for just not creating good content anymore i don't know what's going on in marvel and dc i don't know who they're hiring i don't know who is in charge of these um uh, these giants of comics but they need a regime change they need to hire new staff better writers who are only concerned about actually giving you good content and not uh focused on trying to maybe i don't know, push narratives or whatever the hell they tried to do over there at this point i don't even know anymore honestly but anyway what are your thoughts are you surprised at this point that manga is once again dominating the charts and let me know your thoughts in the comment section and let me know what manga you are currently reading i'm curious maybe give me some new ideas of what to watch let me sorry what to read and i'll appreciate that thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next one thank you guys for listening and peace.